a word you haven't heard before, scleroderma. It's a rare autoimmune disease. And today, we're hearing from a woman who's hoping that sharing her story can help others living with this rare disease. From the top of my head to my knees, my entire body was hard, solid. Uh, and it was going into my organs through my esophagus and spreading internally. It was five years ago when Nancy Morenci began to feel the beginning stages of a rare illness. She could no longer close her hands into fists or barely open her mouth. You can't dress yourself, you can't walk, you're in constant excruciating pain. You see your body changing in front of you and then you have a diagnosis that confirms the worse. It was a year before she was diagnosed with scleroderma and told she had just five years to live. The news was a shock to the mother of two who until then had lived a healthy, active lifestyle. It's very frightening. And then on top of that, you're the one that's sick and you're having to explain to everybody what it is that you have because no one's ever heard of it. We asked, how do you say this word? Scleroderma. This video from Scleroderma Canada shows just how few Canadians have heard of the illness that affects one in 2,500. According to the group, only half of those diagnosed live past 10 years. There's no known cause and no known cure. It is a rare disease, but I, I just think that it's... There's a lot of rare autoimmune diseases and we're aware of them and there's help for them and there's so little research and so little known about scleroderma. That's why Morenzi is working to educate others, raising money for research through a variety show set for Tuesday night in Richmond Hill. There's a lot of um, information coming out on different types of therapies that can help people, but without the research, we don't really know what the long-term benefit or the long-term effect is. A holistic nutritionist by profession, Morenzi is now managing the pain through her diet. She hopes sharing her story can give some hope to those living with this rare disease. You don't have to be your diagnosis. It's about finding a new normal, a new place to live from. I'm not the same person I was. I'm certainly not cured, uh, but I don't want to live in a place of fear. And for those who can't make it to the event Tuesday night but still want to support the cause, they can make a donation to Scleroderma Canada. Janela Massa, City News.